for the next one. Are you ready for your second act? Yes. All right, give it up for Darcy Moreland. How are we doing? We good? Yeah, another one of those. Uh, cool. Um, did you know that living in London is fucked expensive? You're all aware, cost of living and shit? Well, I found a really good way to save money on food. What I do is walk into busy restaurants with a motorbike helmet on. <laughs> yeah, we got some Uber Eats fans in the building, that's good. Um, on an unrelated note, uh, does anyone, is anyone here a lawyer? Yeah, yeah? okay, criminal? All right, never mind. Um, <laughs> No, I, I am in the market. Don't worry, nothing serious, just some light arson. Um, but no, it, it, you know, I think my family, we, we, genetically, we don't really like trust lawyers because like my great, great, great granddad like stole a loaf of bread to feed his family and he got caught and his lawyer was like, plead guilty and he did and now I sound like this. So that's how that fucking works, apparently. Um, but no, the reason, the reason I'm a little bit sceptical about lawyers is because, like, I don't know, when, whenever a famous person does something fucked up, their lawyer always puts out the same statement. They're like, our client denies these allegations and we will defend them vigorously. Well, you'd fucking hope so. I mean, who the fuck is hiring a lawyer who puts out a statement like, our client denies these allegations, but it doesn't matter if we win or lose, as long as we have fun. <laughs> I guess the real defamation case was the friends we made along the way. <laughs> uh, but no, the reason I've been thinking about kind of like that sort of fucked up shit is, you guys familiar with Dr. Seuss? Yeah? Yeah? You're all children once, I assume? Okay, more of a Roald Dahl crowd, that's good. But I found out something recently about Dr. Seuss, which is pretty fucked up. So Dr. Seuss had a wife, and I don't want to like bring the mood down in the room too much, but she, she was dying of a terminal illness that shares its name with a famous Zodiac sign. And um, yeah, she, she, she was struggling with, you know, a terminal bout of Aquarius. And, <laughs> and Dr. Seuss got himself a mistress, which is so fucked up. However... I don't know about you, but I've never thought about Dr. Seuss speaking in any other way but, like, whimsical rhyme. <laughs> so, like, imagining him having an affair is kind of strange. Like, the nice mistress lady, she comes over for the affair. She's like, oh, doctor, I'm here for the affair. I've waited all week for a chance to see you. So, pop out dem titties, thing one and thing two. Oh, but doctor. <laughs> Sorry about the voice. I can't do any other voices. Okay? I, I've tried. When you imagine Dr. Seuss fucking, okay, you can, you can do whatever voices you want. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but doctor, your wife, she's upstairs in bed and she's sick. My wife is bedridden. She won't be a knocking. Let's take this to the couch and I'll bury my cock in. Yeah, that one usually splits the room, Eliza, honestly. <laughs> um, but, but it's okay. I, 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 have, I have one more. Do you want to hear one more? Yeah, yeah okay, okay. <laughs> you thought the second one was bad. <laughs> oh, oh, doctor. <laughs> I shaved my genital hair into one of those caps that Tommy Shelby wears on Peaky Blinders. Yum, yum, yum. I can't wait to see that. So take off those knickers and show me that cat in a hat. Okay, moving quickly along. Um, I'm 24 years old. All right, that's the first time that's happened. I, yeah, I'm 24 years old, which often surprises people because I've got like the face, skin and temperament of a 35-year-old who's given up. <laughs> 
I'm like Hugh Jackman if Hugh Jackman was only ever cast to play a Wolverine that like never left his fucking bedroom. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Um, are you guys in a good mood? Are you having a good time? Okay, good. <laughs>